Hey devs, welcome to the second part of the Chidwell Platform Game Tutorial Series. So before we begin, um, I just want to let you guys know I'm now using the new screen recorder, which is um, Camtasia. Well, um, the reason for this switch is because um, a lot of you complained about the low frames per second in my um, in the last screen recorder, which was um, Flashback Pro. Um, okay, so now I'm switching to Camtasia. Well, just let me know what you think. Um, okay, so let's begin. First of all, get a notepad. Um, here we go, notepad. I'm gonna list what we'll be working on in this um, part. First of all, we're working on a camera, that's the first, and um, then we'll work on a parallax um, background. Okay, so a parallax background would have three layers, which would be the, um, the background layer and the middle layer and the foreground layer okay there we go so we have a um, parallax um before sorry about that we have the background layer we have the middle layer and we have the foreground there so this is what we're working on in this um, part of the series okay so let's go let's open to develop and um okay so here we go this is um where we stopped in the last story so if you just joined in the series i would advise you watch the first part so you understand uh, what we're doing okay so link will be in the description below okay so let's go to our new scene um this is exactly where we stopped in the last part of um, this of the series so let's uh, preview this okay so here we go this is exactly where we stopped um Right here we have our player, we can jump and uh, move. Okay, so let's begin with a camera. Now we'll be adding a smooth camera, not just any camera, but a smooth camera. Okay, so let's begin. Um, first of all, we have to go to our events. That's where um, we have to fill in the events right here. So before we continue, I just want to make something clear. Well, a lot of you were complaining about uh, that you could not find the simulate key press and that's because this is the old events editor um well i love using the old events editor but you can switch okay so now i'll show you how to switch it real quick to switch to the new events editor you have to go to your file and then um preferences okay so scroll down all the way here you can see use the new actions or condition editor well this by default is checked so a lot of you have this in your so for the rest of the tutorial i'll be using the new um, actions or conditions editor so let's close that and um okay so let's go all the way to the bottom right here now let's add a new group you can add a group to your project by clicking on the plus sign right here and clicking on group okay so group would make our work much more organized so name this um camera and um parallax so about that okay camera and parallax and you can pull this into the group by dragging it in before this is now in the group camera and parallax so there we go okay so now to get the camera working we have to add an action um first of all i would add the um a camera which is actually smooth so for those of you who are new to develop you'll understand how easy it is to add a camera to your game okay so now this is new actions and events um sorry actions and conditions well we have this side which are actually the objects once you click on an object it gives you every single available action you can apply to your player depending on the type of objects so for our player we get this uh, we can change the animation so this is um this are all the actions you can add to your player now for the other actions these are actions which um do not necessarily or do not have an object um like this like add mob so you can click on the add mob the add mob um, does not have an object so this um you can just select your add mob right there and that's it okay so let's go back um for this we get a camera just like this now a camera would be right here camera here we go so now we have the centered camera on an object you can set that and object now we can select an object now we select or centering the camera on our player object once we'll click on ok that's it it's um really easy so let's play preview this so here we go as you can see the camera follows our player and that's how it is um it's super easy to add um 
a camera to you play okay so let's close that now let's make our camera smooth now to do this we don't need the center camera on player so let's delete that and let's add an action and um first of all we get a camera here we go so now we have this camera center x position the center of the camera on an object this sensor is, is a combination of both the x and the y which makes it a center camera on an object so for this now we would use the center camera x position okay sign set to value now we would use a lerp here we go lerp so as you can see a lerp has number 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 so that's um three numbers okay so let's open a bracket now we're filling the first number for the first number let's get the camera x position here we go camera x close that comma for now um, our second number which would be our player x position so this would get our players x position and for the third we'd fill in a value of 0 0.05 so let's close the bracket there we go now okay and let's um, preview this So here we go, as you can see we have this small camera right here, follows our player. Now you can choose to increase the value right here, um, okay, so it's 0 point, um, yeah I think 50 would do, and preview, there we go, as you can see it follows the player, and um, we can just reduce the value to so 0.1. Okay, this will make your camera um, slower. So here we go. As you can see, the camera is super slow now. And I think 0 0.05 would do this. So there we go. That's it. Now this makes our player camera full up in the X um, position. Now let's do for the Y position. Add an action and um, let's get the camera. So camera center, camera center Y position sign set to value um once again let's do this lerp now for this we need to set our first number to our camera not a camera x because this is the y position of the camera so camera y open and close the bracket comma um player um dot y so this gets the camera y position and the player y position comma and 0 0.05 so that would do let's close that okay now let's preview this so there we go now as you can see we have this um, good looking um, really smooth camera there we go so our player stops and the camera keeps moving to the exact position of our player so that's it that's how to add a smooth camera to your player now let's add a um, parallax background so close this and new scene first of all we need to add in some objects so let's add a new objects. So our objects would be a cloud sprite. Okay, so cloud sprites and object name. Let's select our image. So choose a new image. So here we go. We'll be using this right here. So we'll name this. Um, okay, this imports this. So this or this file are outside the projects folder. Would you like to make a copy of them in the projects folder? I would advise you do this. Because um, if you move your projects, you might have to. Um, we import every asset okay so there we go now that's imported and um i'll name this background there we go so this would be our background and um okay this is good and apply so another really good way of making um of optimizing your game is using the cloud sprites for um for really large images so there we go we have this now Add new objects and cloud sprites and objects. Let's select objects. There we go. So, um, here we go. So, this would be our middle layer, middle apply. Now, let's add the last objects, cloud sprites, and um, select an image, add an image, and um, here we go. So this would be the foreground. Okay, there we go, foreground. So over there. Okay, let's apply there. So there we go, now we can pull all this into the scene. Um, so over there. Here we go. Now we have this in the scene. 
Okay, this would do. Here we go. So we have this in the scene, and let's pull off foreground. This is scene, and um, once again, let's do the same. Right here. Okay, so here we go. Now we have this. Um, okay, I think I would rename this. Um, sorry about that. This would be um, middle layer. This would be our middle layer. So um, middle. Sorry about that. Can name that middle. Yeah. And this would be our foreground layer. Foreground. There we go. So we have this and um, the name middle layer so we have the background we have the foreground and the middle layer so let's create a layer you can create a layer by clicking on this which is the layer right here the layer editor and um we can add our layers once again by clicking on the plus sign right here add a layer so first of all let's add a layer um background so that's our first layer and let's add um a new layer and we'll name this middle and let's add a new layer and we'll name this foreground there we go so we have the background we have the middle and we have the foreground so let's place this on your layers so first of all this which is the um background layer let's go all the way to the layers right here so layer and background so that places it in the background layer now let's pull our background layer we want our background layer be um, behind the whole game so pull it below your base layer this is currently your base layer so now our background is now up um, behind our base layer so there we go next up for our middle layer this will be our middle layer so let's pull it into the middle and once again let's pull it down not um above the background layer if you pull it below the background layer it goes behind um the background so there we go and for the last objects which is the foreground layer um set so that's the foreground and let's pull this um, below the base layer so we have this um, properly aligned right now so there we go now let's, let's align this let's place this um, right here and um, sorry about that okay let's place this right here okay so now let's go to our events and let's fill in some events to make our um, parallax bg the parallax bg background okay so let's first of all let's get an action add an action um the camera right here so we have the camera set the exposition let's use the exposition for this so sign set so now we want this to set um to center on our player and um the exposition of our player comma i'm sorry about that asterisk which um stands for multiplied by um, 0 point of 90 so this would be for our background so we get the value of our play the current position of our play and multiply it by um, 0 0.90 so there we go and let's set this for our background let's preview this um, so there we go so you can see our background works um, we can't actually notice it because uh, we don't have our middle and foreground layer working so let's add our foreground layer so once again um the camera there we go exposition sign um set to value player dot x sorry about that not the player and go player x um asterisk um zero points um i think 80 would do yeah so there we go layer let's start the layer here which is the middle layer okay so let's preview this There we go, something's not right. Um okay let's fix this. Okay, I can see the problem right here. So our player actually our player starts with a capital um P. Once again, this is also case sensitive um case sensitive. So we have to use a capital P. There we go. Okay, so now let's preview this. Here we go. So as you can see it moves on um, perfectly. So now for our foreground layer, which is the last layer, let's go. The camera, X position, sign, set to value, player, dot, X, open close the bracket, um, asterisk, um, there we go, zero point, um, let's go with, um, I think 70 would do. Okay, 
There we go. Let's bring this. Okay, so that's not right. Um, let's fix that again. Sorry, we forgot to add our layer. Okay, so there we go. Foreground layer. Okay, so let's preview this. There we go. Now we have this um really good looking parallax, but it looks really funny because um where it stretches out of the screen right there. So let's pull it all out, close that new scene, and um. Now this is why we're using the cloud sprites for this because we can um, easily pull this out. Sorry about that. There we go. So we can stretch this. Actually, we're not stretching this, but it's actually repeating the image over a particular um, area. So there we go. Um. Okay, so that's good. So let's preview this. So there we go, now it looks really, really good. Um, it looks better. Okay, so that's it. That's how to add a small camera and a parallax for our, our platformer game. So, well, that's it. Um, see you in the next part of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please hit the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next part.